A Dayton nonprofit made up of people in recovery is helping students be prepared as they go back to class. The Dayton Fellowship Club is hosting a free school supply giveaway at McIntosh Park. That's where 2 News reporter Kelly King caught up with them and she shows us how it's what's working in Dayton. The Dayton Fellowship Club has done this for 15 years. They say it's their way of giving back while also helping kids get ready for the school year. Pencils, paper, book bags. You name it, we're going to have something for everybody. The Dayton Fellowship Club is helping students check items off their school supply list at a time when lists have gotten longer and everything has gotten more expensive. We want to be a positive impact in the community. Let the community know that we understand the struggles, what the community is going through. And if this can be a little bridge to helping them get through the school year with their young people, that's what we want to do. Alan Walder has faced his own struggles. He's been in addiction recovery for three decades and says recovery is about more than getting sober. It is a family disease, so we got to help uplift the family. That's what this event is about. The picnic and giveaway will be held Friday at McIntosh Park in Dayton from noon to 3. Students and their families can come by for free food and school supplies donated by sponsors and community members. Allen estimates they'll see between 400 and 500 people with a high percentage battling addiction or coping with financial stress. When we see, may see them at the school supply giveaway, later we start seeing them in recovery. So you be a witness to somebody getting better, and these resources help people become better, productive citizens. The giveaway also acting as an outreach and easing the burden on families. It gives people hope that somebody out here care, and they can guarantee for the past 15 years, We've been out here trying to pass out what we can. In order to receive the free items in the giveaway, children must be present. Reporting in Dayton, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.